Josette Albert, how are you? I am good. How are you? David Marino, how's it going? Hey, man, how's it going? I'm, I, well, I clearly answered your question there <laughs> by asking it to you. Good. Thank you for coming on my podcast. I'm so excited. One of the dancers or something. And then, like, after that time, because I had you know, been practicing a lot, they started to notice, like, oh, you can actually kind of sing now. Oh, you can dance well. Oh, you can kind of act. Kind of. It, it started from the beginning when I started singing, and then it kind of just built and built and built. Uh, my parents saw that I was loving it more and more uh, year after year. Like, I innately had this ability to see what everyone else was doing and be like, how can I do something entirely different? <laughs> and right. dress, I dressed in princess dresses every day of my youth. I think in general, I, I just want to give a great performance. That was a good performance and you were going to win or? No. No? No, I, I knew I wasn't going to win. Once, it was uh, on The Voice, by the way. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Voice that was, one, that was one of them. The goal is more to kind of uh, improve myself every day, you know, 1% yeah. every day and, and just become the best artist I can possibly be. I think I needed that push. I needed a little bit of that fear and that fire in me and that competitiveness uh, to yeah. write some really great scripts. I hadn't done any big comedies up until that moment. So it was my first time delivering jokes on screen. It was my first time doing physical comedy. You never get to jump into an experience of being a zombie, of dying multiple times, of doing like physical stunts. It's just, it's magic. Having blood on you and then going to school. And... So lit. I was like, yes, like, let's yeah. go. I would write like a five page, like, you know, story about like all this crazy stuff. I always loved writing about magic when I was a kid. Grew up playing piano and violin. And my dad um, is a clarinet player. So they like it and they, they yeah. like theater and things like that, you know, but I mean, they are not artists first, they're scientists first. I, I, I have that privilege of having like, you know, really well off parents, right? And then they, you know, they see the potential of the, you know, the discrimination and things that I could face as a black woman. So my mom's like, listen, like, well, I don't want you to feel like, you know, People are scary. I want you to feel confident in yourself to just do whatever you want to do. Like, when you wake up in the morning, do you feel creative or when does it happen? The best time to write is like two in the morning. I know it's oh really bad. Yeah. It's really bad, but I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, oh, that's the answer. I need to write it down. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, hell yeah, let's, let's write something today. A lot of the times, no. It takes a while for me to get there and to get over that initial leap into a project. It's not all just fun and games, you know. It's 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 hard work, and sometimes it is tiring, but it's part yeah. of it's part of it. And and I uh, breaks are important though, and and that's something I need to learn. Have you ever taken a break? <laughs> I don't think I ever take breaks. A story is like a monster that you've created, right. and you have to just let it just do its thing and live and breathe and be its own being.